Jeff Chan here from MMA Shredded, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my favorite offensive combinations. They're very basic, yet super effective if you drill them enough. Please comment below and let me know what you guys think. I'll be going in chronological order from my favorite and most often used to the least often used. The first combo is the liver hook to the right low kick. Notice how after I throw the liver hook, I step 45 degrees to the left with a double step to land the low kick. This is to avoid or dodge a counter punch that is often thrown when you hit the body with a punch. Because I'm not very skilled in pure boxing, when I go for a liver hook without stepping out to kick after, I always get tagged with a counter punch. The second combo is the left head hook to the right low kick, which is essentially the same as combo one, except the hook is to the head. I mix up between taking a double step to the side for the kick or just throwing it without the step to confuse my opponent. I usually step to the side to avoid the counter punch if I know my opponent has strong punching counters. But keep in mind, it does make it slightly a slower attack. I've received many comments from my viewers on how they like that I use real sparring to show what I teach. So I tried my best to gather as much sparring footage to back up this video. You can see that these combos are basic, yet I'm scoring them over and over again. These are the combos you need to drill and use in your fights. Basics win the fight with an advanced technique every here and there as an option. The third combo is the left head hook to the right roundhouse kick. When I throw the left hook, I am leaping in 45 degrees to the left to create an angle. This is a crucial part of this combination. And usually my opponent will step 45 degrees to his left to score up with me. And he ends up colliding or walking into my right kick. The fourth combo is the cross to the left roundhouse kick. After I've thrown my cross, my opponent will either back up in which I take a step forward to chase and close the distance to land that left kick. That step forward is what generates the power or closes the distance. Or he doesn't move back in which I take a step 45 degrees to the right to really kick through him and not be close to the kick. Combo 5, rear uppercut, left head hook, push with the rear hand into the right roundhouse kick. It looks like I'm throwing a cross or a punch, but what I'm actually doing is pushing his head or his right shoulder into my right kick so we get a colliding type damage. What I also like about this combination is that generally you throw left to right, right to left to build momentum. But this time I'm going right to left to right to right to confuse your opponent. After you throw the cross, they're usually expecting a left kick, but you're throwing the right kick. Combo six, cross to lead uppercut to your or right low kick. It's not often I throw this combo, but if I see an opening for that lead uppercut, I'll take it. Whenever I land that upcut, it usually does do a lot of damage. The last combo, number seven. Left hook to right hook to left long knee. The left and right hook are both just setups. There's no power into it. So I throw the left hook to get my opponent to turtle. I use my right hand 
to grab onto his head and stop his head from moving. And I'm going to use my left hand to reach on top of my opponent's head. My left arm should be as straight as possible. I want to try and knee my own palm because your opponent's body is in the way. You won't actually hit your own palm, but you'll hit his body. This just helps me align my knee and drive it as far and forward as possible. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please comment below, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and subscribe to my mailing list in the link below for exclusive content.